All right, so here we are. I'm going to be talking all about the likes of what to most certainly do after your potatoes do and if they have had blight and most certainly if, even if they didn't this tip will work for you 100 percent so here we have the potatoes whether you neglected them and or did very little to them potatoes will produce a successful crop for you guys so touching down here see some of these leaves right An indication that you have blight is browning off of the leaves completely and tip is with those to most certainly remove the whole lot so we'll be clearing out the all these stems and leaves of these potatoes and they'll be going into the compost bin which is over in that direction behind the likes of that apple tree right there so collecting up those and putting them in a container but a tip for that is when you're putting them into your compost i want you to make sure that you add the likes of green manured okay look at that there's loads of ooh, fresh material there so it needs to go in there next is freshly cut grass clippings okay mixed with the likes of our leaves uh, and stems and any tubers that have most certainly been damaged by blight into any of your compost containers that you currently have and mixing them well together because the increase in temperature over 60 degrees will kill those pathogens that blight most certainly does survive in so we're going back over here to check out our beautiful potatoes that have most certainly survived the likes of the blight some of them not so bad okay different varieties that do recommend is South Pomero, which are blight resistant and earlier varieties that are harvested throughout the summer months that don't get the blight so we'll be picking up our potatoes oh, let's have a look see we get a potato down on us here oh, oh, lovely stuff so there's the first of the likes of the potatoes okay so that's what you have to do and those are the little things that i do recommend that when you take those beautiful potatoes from the ground. Okay, I want you to use compost, which comes from that one we've just really looked at, full of eggshells. The calcium go back into the soil, will break down slowly, and other leafy materials to make your own beautiful homemade compost. And the tip is, if you ever take anything out of the soil such as your potatoes, make sure you add something back in, because that most certainly gives it a sort of sustainable effect to your soil and the nutrients such as things that can go in here radishes you put in salads going coming into the cooler months you know the varieties typically something that's related to brass, brassicas cabbages and most certainly and purple sweat and broccoli sowing them immediately to put in to your lovely composted bed area right rainbow chart lovely one of my favorite veg ever okay talk soon godspeed you know the drill oh get on that good stuff